Hi everyone, welcome back, or if you're new here, my name's Lauren, welcome. Today I'm showing with you my June favorite. So I have lots of fashion, beauty, and lifestyle that I'll be sharing with you all throughout today's video. I'll link everything in the description box down below. And if you're new or you just haven't already, I post two weekly videos here on YouTube, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so you, know, you don't miss out on any of my upcoming content. And I'd love it for you to come hang out with me on Instagram, I'm on stories every single day doing you know what I do here just on a daily basis I share a lot of fashion more beauty and even a little bit more lifestyle over there so I'd absolutely love to have you so I thought we'd start things off with lifestyle and you do not know this because I didn't share it here on YouTube or on Instagram or on social media anywhere for that matter but it was actually my birthday this month and I'm not gonna lie I got completely spoiled I could not believe it so for the past couple of months, I've been kind of complaining about my computer. I have a MacBook Air and I absolutely love it, but my MacBook Air does not love the software that I edit my YouTube videos on. Literally every single video, my computer crashes, it shuts down in the midst of editing the video. I have cried so many times <laughs> because I've lost everything that I've been working on and it literally takes me hours to edit my videos. So my parents gave me money to purchase a brand new computer. So I'm in the market for a MacBook Pro. I think that's gonna work a lot better than the Air, but I can't decide if I want the 13 inch or the 16 inch. The reason being is I travel with my laptop when I go to work. I take it with me on my layovers and that's where I edit my videos a lot of the time in my hotel room, you know, in bed in my pajamas. But I'm wondering if the 16 inch is just gonna to be too big to travel with. So I'd love to know your feedback. My next lifestyle favorite was another gift that I was completely surprised with when I came home from my parents' house on my birthday and I was surprised with patio furniture on my rooftop deck. So a big selling point for me when I purchased my home was the outdoor living space. So I have a private rooftop deck, which I just thought was absolutely amazing. It has a fabulous view of the mountains. And then I also have a back deck off of the kitchen. And that one has patio furniture and a barbecue on it because it's easy to get in and out of the kitchen, but it's a little bit less private. And so I was really wanting some patio furniture on the top deck. So the furniture is from Home Depot. It was purchased in store. I did have a look to see if it's online on Home Depot Canada and Home Depot USA, but I think it is sold out online. So if you're interested in the furniture, you'll definitely have to go in store. My next lifestyle favorite was another birthday gift. I told you, I got completely spoiled this year. And one of my friends actually bought me a brand new camera for my birthday. I I might start crying talking about it. I cried <laughs> when I opened it up. Like I was so incredibly overwhelmed. And that's what I'm filming my videos on. I am gonna start crying. I apologize. But oh my goodness, the camera that I've been filming my videos on for the past couple of years is was my brother. So my parents bought for him several years ago. And so to get a new camera that has the ability to film in 4K, it also has like a little, it flips up so I can see myself now while I'm filming. I know I'm in focus. Oh my goodness, it was such an extravagant, generous gift. I literally was left speechless. So once I got the MacBook Pro, I can start filming in 4K because my MacBook Air just like can't really support it right now. But I think you're gonna really notice the quality of my videos is going to drastically improve and I am so incredibly excited. So I got so spoiled this year. Oh my goodness, it's absolutely amazing. So my next lifestyle favorite, I'm actually really excited to share with you and you may have noticed them if you hang out with me over on Instagram stories and it has been my brand new eyeglasses. So I've had these for I think a couple of weeks now. I have a new optometrist. He is absolutely incredible. Such an amazing man. And I went in for an eye exam and I do have to wear glasses. Not all the time, but when I'm on the computer, when I'm reading, when I'm watching something, and especially when I'm driving. I actually have such a fear of driving and it's so funny because people come on board the aircraft and they have a fear of flying. I think being in a car is a lot scarier and I try and remind them of that so it takes away the fear of flying. I'm not trying to traumatize anyone but I always say, how do you feel about being in a car? Because I fear for my life. 
every single time. So on an airplane, you're definitely a lot, a lot safer statistically than you are in a vehicle. But part of the reason has been because I just can't see properly. I have astigmatism. And so I have a new prescription. He upped it a little bit. And let me tell you, I definitely feel a little bit more confident on the road, but spending hours in front of my computer and editing my videos, these have just honestly saved my life. And these eyeglasses, the frames, are from his own line. It's called Oxford and Kin. I will leave it linked down below if you're in the market for eyeglasses or sunglasses because his products are absolutely incredible. They are handmade. He let me pick out which frames I felt like suited me the most, and these are the ones that I went for. I cannot tell you how much I love them. The quality is beautiful. And the other thing I really like about the company is they do so much good and they really give back to the community. So if that's something that you're interested in being part of, I will leave my exact frames linked down below for you as well as a link to the company if you're in the market for some sunglasses or eyeglasses, I highly, highly recommend that you check out his products. Let's move in to beauty. I've been getting a lot more into makeup and beauty products. I think just while I've been home for the past couple of months, it's given me a really great opportunity to just try out and experiment with some different things. So lately I've been getting a little bit more or back into rather self tanning. I've tried out quite a few different products, but I find mousses can be a little bit intimidating sometimes. I have the worst sleeps when I apply self tanner because I'm literally panicked all night long and like stressing out that I'm going to wake up to this horrific tan. So I came across the Tan Lux The Butter and this is a lotion. I tried out a lotion by Saint Tropez that I think I found at TJ Maxx and I actually really, really liked it. And I find lotions just to be a little bit more forgiving. I think I might've came across this on Tony of Dallas's Instagram stories. I think she mentioned this product. So on a whim, I decided to order it from Sephora. It has really, really good reviews. The formula is really, really nice. It has a little bit of a glow to it. It also, I'm just reading the back of it, contains cocoa butter, shea butter, and raspberry seed oil. I will say it has a little bit of a fragrance to it, and you can definitely smell the raspberries, but it doesn't have that kind of unpleasant, fake tan scent. So I think it actually has a really nice smell to it. The tan is beautiful. So I woke up to a really nice tan in the morning. I did want to point out, like you just apply it with your hands, make sure you wash them, but really make sure, you can probably see it right here, make sure you wash your wrists as well. So I clearly missed a spot underneath my wrist. I'm very grateful that it's underneath and not on the top. And then the other product that I'm loving is the Isle of Paradise Tanning Drops. And this is what I'm using on my face. And I think together, even though these are two completely different brands, the color works really, really well. This gives you such a beautiful and natural looking tan on the face. If you're hesitant to try a mousse, like I, I definitely will not be putting a mousse on my face. I'm way too scared. This is a really great option because you just mix it in to some moisturizer. I have it in the shade medium. And I think on me, it still gives me a really dark tan, at least for what I'm used to. I pretty much do not go in the sun. I'm very vain when it comes to my skin. So self tanning is where it's at. Otherwise, I just rock my pale natural self. But both of these products, I'm so impressed with. Next up, we have the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I am no stranger to this. I have repurchased this product probably about five times. I love using the It Cosmetics CC Cream in the summer season. I love my Smashbox foundation. It's been amazing for the fall, winter, and the spring. And those days where I'm getting ready quite early in the morning and I'm going to be out for the entire day or when I was flying, I found it was such a nice long wearing foundation. I could go 18 hours and it was still looking half decent. So I love that. But I want something a little bit lighter on my face during the summertime. And this is what I like to turn to. It also so has SPF 50 in it. Like you just can't find that in a foundation. I have quite dry skin, so it's hydrating, it's moisturizing, it also has anti-aging properties. Although it says it's full coverage on me, I do think it is a little bit more medium, but it's buildable and I love that. Now, do you need it in three different shades? No, absolutely not. But I find when I'm self tanning, what I normally go for is the fair. It's just way too light. So the fair shade works the best when I am my natural, pale self. Fair light works well when my tan is starting to fade. And then I have the shade light, which is actually quite dark on me, but I find it works the best 
when I'm a self-tan. You know when you're standing in line waiting to check out in Sephora and you're surrounded by all the adorable mini makeup products? You're probably browsing on your phone, but the next thing you know, out of the corner of your eye, one of those little minis is going to catch your attention. The next thing you know, you're reaching for it, you're putting it in your basket, you're checking out, and you come home with an item that you had no intention on purchasing that day. Does that happen to you? because it happens to me far too often. So the next favorite that I have to share with you is one of those, and it has been the Patrick Ta Major Glow Body Oil. I picked it up in the shade Dream. I believe it comes, I think, in three different shades, but it looks like champagne, and we all know how I feel about champagne. Actually, over the weekend, I was served the biggest glass of champagne I have ever had. I thought I was going to have to be carried out of there, but it was absolutely delicious worth every step and honestly this is so incredibly worth it and it looks so beautiful on the body it also has the most amazing scent to it more of a masculine scent and if you watch my May favorites video you know how I feel about a masculine scent it has quite a bit of sparkle in it so I did want to point that out how I like to apply it is it says to spray it on. It's a body oil, so it is a little bit heavy, and if you've already gotten dressed, then you wanna be really careful that you're not spraying the oil on your clothing. So I like to kind of pump it out onto my hand and rub it in and make sure I'm placing it exactly where I want it to go. I usually will kind of go for my collarbone, along my decolletage, kind of down my chest, especially if I'm wearing something that's kind of low cut, a little bit revealing, kind of sexy. It just gives you this really stunning, gorgeous glow. My next beauty favorite is a product that I've been loving for almost a year now, but I think I've really started to appreciate it over the past couple months while I've been home, and it has been the Revlon One Step Styler. I've talked about this quite a bit over on Instagram stories because I just absolutely love it. So I do my makeup while I'm waiting for my hair to dry and when it gets to about 75 to 80 percent that's when I'll turn this on, reach for this, and it's basically like giving yourself a nice salon blowout at home. It adds volume, it adds bounce, it adds a little bit of just structure and fluff. And I think your hair looks so incredibly pretty when you use this. I like to kind of roll down kind of towards the end so my hair kind of just looks a little bit bouncier and fuller, but I think it gives you a really nice kind of natural straight hair look, whereas using a hair straightener can kind of flatten your hair down, whereas this just gives you a lot of fullness and that bounce that you'll get so many compliments on. Let's move in to some fashion favorites. I'm gonna go through these next two items very quickly because I'm sure you're so over me going on about them here on my YouTube channel, but these cropped ribbed effect tanks from Aritzia and Zara have literally been my most worn tops. I can't tell you how many times I've reached for them and washed them throughout the month of June. I'm at home pretty much 95% of the time, more like 98 K99% of the time. So I live in sweatpants and joggers now, but I can also style them with leggings. I can wear them with jeans. I can dress them up, dress them down. I can throw a sweater or a little jacket over top. They have just been the absolute best. So the gray one is from Aritzia. I also have it in a white. And then I have this one slightly different in white from Zara. From casual to dressy. This tie front top that I picked up from Aritzia has been an absolute favorite of mine this month. I wore it out for dinner on my birthday with a couple friends and I think it was absolutely perfect. It comes in quite a few different colors. The material is just so stunning and I love that it has sleeves. It can be a little bit chilly in an air-conditioned restaurant or out on a patio and I find in the evenings in the summertime I definitely need to have some type of sleeve so I'll either bring a cardigan, a sweater, or a jacket with me, or I could actually get by with having a top with sleeves. It's plunging, I'm not gonna lie, so nipple covers work the best with this top. It has a clasp, and then it has a functioning tie, so the top actually will completely open up. It's elasticated at the bottom here, and then it has this really kind of pretty ruffled hem. It's slightly cropped, but how I styled it was with a pair of high-waisted white denim jeans and a pair of heels, and it kind of just meets the top of your jeans. I did want to point out, be really careful when you lift your arms up. It is elasticated, but it could potentially flash the girls, so try and leave your arms down <laughs> as much as you can. It's hard to believe that I almost missed out on this jacket because it has instantly become one of my most worn pieces and a real favorite of mine. I spotted this on the Zara website about a month ago, and 
I didn't know if I could pull it off and I kind of talked myself into ordering it and I can't even tell you how many times I've reached for it and just worn it. I have styled this little jacket with leggings, with sweatpants, with joggers, with biker shorts and I wear it a lot actually with jeans. Sometimes I just like to wear it as a top. I'll put a bralette on underneath it or one of the crop tanks that I just shared with you. It has some really cute design details as well. I like this little drawstring effect that it has on the neckline so you can draw it out or you can have it nice and cinched around the neck. I usually just kind of wear it half open. It has a zip closure. It is cropped. I did want to point that out and then it has this tied off detail on the side but it's a really cute piece easy to throw on. It would also be great to travel with. If you watch my H&M summer haul video, then you'll recognize and you might be kind of surprised that I'm including this piece in my favorites video. But when I put this on my body during the try-on clip, because I hadn't tried it on when I was sharing it in that video, I was like, why were you so on the fence about this? That is the doorbell. I think it's my Aritzia order. I'm gonna run and grab it, one sec. I was right, part of my Aritzia order just came in the mail, so come hang out with me over on Instagram stories, cause I'll do a try on of the pieces that I picked up from there. So, as I was saying, I was on the fence when I pulled this utility jacket out of the packaging, but when I styled it up, I realized it's actually very me and it really meets my personal style. It's a nice denim jacket and I especially love the length of it. It's a little bit longer in length. The color is kind of more of a creamy off-white color and then it has some really nice design details. So I like the contrast stitching on it. It's like in a really pretty beige color. It has a nice collar, two pockets at the top here, Really pretty tortoiseshell buttons down the front of it. It has a functioning tie, and then I like the big pockets down at the bottom. And then it has this really nice little slit detail at the back. How I like to style it is I like to cuff up the sleeves, so I roll them up twice, kind of so they meet my elbow. I like to wear it a little bit open, and then slightly unbuttoned at the bottom, and then I really cinch it in around the waist. It actually smells really good. It has my Juliet has a gun, not a perfume fragrance on it. I will link that down below for you. I talked about it in my May Favorites video. I wear it every single day. It's just the best fragrance out there. I highly recommend you check it out. You may have noticed that I'm just not the biggest fan of wearing a bra these days. And I think it's really due to the fact that I hurt myself quite badly six months ago. I ate it down the stairs and I was carrying a cup of coffee so I didn't have my hands or my arms to break my fall. So my back, lovely, took the brunt of it. And ever since, like I quite frankly, I don't think I've quite been the same. I haven't felt the same. And wearing a bra has actually just been kind of painful. It's quite tight and constricting. And after a couple of hours, like I feel like I'm suffocating and I need to get it off. I just can't stand the tightness across my chest. So, nipple covers have really become my best friend. So I went on a hunt to find my perfect pair of nipple covers since they're really serving as a bra for me now. And then I came across these. These are the brand Nippies. I found them on Amazon. I just typed in nipple covers on Amazon and I tried to look for nipple covers that really had the best reviews. And this is what came up. They're probably the most expensive of what I found on Amazon, but I took that into consideration to the fact that I'm not buying bras anymore, so I would rather spend the money on something that I'm comfortable wearing. They're slightly larger in size to the other nipple covers I have, but they are thinner and they are a lot more seamless and they offer a lot better coverage as well. And you literally cannot see them through your top. So if you're in the market for some nipple covers, seriously, I know these are a little bit pricey, but if you're not gonna be wearing a bra or spending money on bras, then definitely check these out. So these sandals I shared in my H&M haul video as well. Now, if you hang out with me on Instagram, you'll remember that I ordered a pair of Birkenstocks for 60 Canadian dollars. and when I pulled them out of the box, despite them having amazing reviews, I was really underwhelmed for that price. And then I came across these at H&M for $14.99. And although they're not identical, the Birkenstocks have the double strap, these just have a single strap. I think for $14.99, there's no way I could justify paying $60 for Birkenstocks. Essentially, you're paying for the brand name, whereas I think the material is almost identical. So I did end up sending those back, although I did like them. I just think that these are so much better value. They're really comfortable. They come in kind of like a hot pink and a really kind of pretty turquoise teal color. 
you know, white just goes with everything. I wear shoes inside all the time, so these are indoor sandals for me, but they would be super cute to wear on your patio, out to a barbecue, to run errands in, or even take to the pool or the beach. I think they're incredibly versatile and a really affordable but useful sandal addition to your summer wardrobe. So I really hope you enjoyed today's June favorites video and you had fun looking through all the pieces with me. I have some really exciting content planned for this week and Amazon haul is coming your way. Did you hear me? Amazon haul. It's been almost six months since my last so make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss it. Come hang out with me over on Instagram if you aren't already. You can find me at the Flight Alista and make sure you DM me the word YouTube. That's the way that you can watch my videos before anyone else and you can shop anything that I share with you in that video or just check them out if you're interested because things have a tendency of selling out quite quickly these days. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch and I cannot wait to see you back here in my next one. Bye.